Okay, here we are. We've been busy these past few weeks here, so I thought I'd post something. Um, I have feelers out for a... I'm trying to find a, uh, a color roundy set, as I've missed so many. So I have some feelers out, as I said, and I found a, a woman had called me, said she had a lot of old TVs in this old house. So I went and took a look. Uh, there were no... there were color sets. There was a, um, most of them from the 80s, a 70s RCA, and a Zenith Chroma Color 2 19-inch portable. And that was about it. I think a Sears and a Sharp or something. Nothing, uh, nothing vintage that I was looking for. But in the last bedroom on the second floor, before I was leaving the place piled with junk, I found this in the corner of one of the bedrooms. It's a 23-inch... It's a 23-inch Admiral black and white set from on or about. It doesn't have UHF, so I'm going to say on or about 1962, I'd say. One or two. We'll look it up in a minute when the Sam's, when we look up the Sam's. Also included was uh, on the ground in the back. I like to say this is a Huckleberry Hound, but I don't know why he's, I don't know why he's red. Not sure on that. And this thing was out in the ground outside. So, looking like a record player, of course it is. It's, it's uh, obviously been in the weather for some time. A solid state silver tone stereo. We'll harvest this for some kind of things. It does have the 45 adapter. And I have a few of these changers. More on that later. That was kind of a, a side thing. So what we can do is uh, we'll take a look at the back of this. It's a uh, Admiral model. Model L24M151, L24M151. Admiral wasn't my favorite brand of television, and I'm actually glad it's not a color, because around this era, Admiral had come out with the 23-inch color set, which was made from black and white picture tubes. They had taken black and white 23-inch tubes and made color... CRTs out of them and as a teenager I remember growing up every one of them was bad every one of them the 23 EGP 22 sticks in my mind every time we saw an Admiral it either had a bad flyback or a 23 EGP 22 picture tube which was horrible no matter what we did rejuvenate them they just never ever gave a good picture so, there are no quarter inch on these, it's all the snap, snap style. I noticed the CRT was not broken, which was nice. See if we can unplug the, uh, the tuner here. The tuner is soldered on either end, that's kind of, that's kind of bizarre. There, um, oh, there must be a way to, uh, Unleash that properly. Yes, there is. So it holds. Unleash the VHF. This model does not have UHF. I see. So let's just take these off. So we get a look inside. Let's see what we have for the Admiral. Chassis 20A7. You can see our, our tuner, the IF section, filter capacitor, printed circuit board on a gold chassis. Um, this roof was leaking in this home, this house, so. Uh, did get see a bit of moisture. Um, 
And there's some white on that 5U4, if that's a 5U4, which uh, it says rectifier V501, which is a 5U4, yes. Our output tube appears to be a V405, which is a 6DQ6A, the 6AU4, or 6DE4 for the damper. Okay, it says the 20, the picture tube is a 23CP4, GP4, or HP4. So we'll uh, get the CRT checker out and check that next. We have dual speakers, which one is, hmm, one is a little blown out there. And, um, place only with a general admiral tube. I could look at the codes on this and tell who made it. For some reason that looks like a zenith to me, but uh, let's go ahead and see if our CRT B and K467 will check this CRT. Okay, this is my second time using this B and K467 that I have. And I have it set up for the 23CP4A as it's outlined and I'm using the correct socket adapter and I've done the setup I have my 120 volt line voltage I set it to 50 if it's not marked which I have for the G2 G1 I mean and the heater volt 6.3 now the problem I'm having is that A I can't set the cutoff so I've left it on high the set cutoff add one division thing I get nothing so it's in high fine but when I go to test I can't believe it, it moves a, a hint. So could that actually be the emission of this tube? I suppose. Again, I suppose it just barely moves the needle. What I could do is raise the heater a little bit and see if it goes up. Which it does, but this tube is really, really bad. I'll verify with my other B and K checker momentarily. As I said, we have no no emission on this tube still and uh it did not have a brightener on it, so I can't believe that it would be watching it in this bad a condition. But it is original, and again, it's on test, and this is just not waking up. This tube just is not waking up. Well, our worst fears I realized because with the other B&K, uh, my 465 checker here, and the setup chart for the 23... CP4 tube is lighting and I have virtually virtually no emission on this thing it, it just it just barely 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 moves if I turn the heater up the needle it it it's 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 amazing it just doesn't even you wouldn't think it could be that dead but I suppose anything's possible. You wouldn't think it would be that dead. Just adjust the heater, go for emission, and it's just a whisper of a, not even a needle mark. So I think that's, that's too bad for the Admiral 23 inch black and white set. Well, the good news is, as a bonus, we did get the uh, another Admiral Clock Radio AM for what it's worth. Could have been a whole entertainment center here as it, uh, I like this one because it does have the phono jack on the back, which we uh, just picked up a, a J2 unrestored at a show yesterday. So you could have your complete music hi-fi system here. So the search will be on and we'll set this aside for now so we can find a 23 CP4A or its equivalent. Thanks for watching. 
Okay, one last thing on the Admiral video is what you would do with something like this is you... I'm not much into the clock radios and plus it, it is cracked there. Uh, it does have a civil defense uh, marker so it's pre-62 or whatever. It's a... Uh, looks like an Admiral 292 5 tube All American 5 here. Uh, I know you can't see that. But, uh, so what the idea with this is being, this is another restorable J2 we picked up, arms taped down, which was okay. But the idea behind this setup is you take your uh, RCA jack and you would plug it into the back of the radio here, like, like so. And some of them switch automatically to the phonograph when you wanted to play your, uh, your 45s. So that's it for the Admiral first look.